Joe Biden is the gift that just keeps giving. I kind of don't want the election to end because I want to keep Joe Biden in the discussion. Thankfully, I don't think it's going to end. Not thankfully, because it's stupid that it's, it's, that's the case, but it's probably not going to be over on November 3rd. It's not going to be a traditional election year. So we'll get a little bit, but I think we're going to win. So don't worry. I think we're going to win, but we're going to get a little bit more of Biden and Cam Cam because it's going to get drug out. And it's, again, very stupid that it is. But Biden, he's the gift that keeps on giving, and he gets angry. I talk about all the time. Like I, This is one of the reasons I can't wait for the debate, because or the, or all of the debates, assuming he can show up and he doesn't get COVID beforehand. is he, he not only stumbles over everything he says, but he gets angry. He picks fights. We've seen it. You know, his whole AR-14 comment, which is laughable in the first place. But like, we've seen him pick fights with just normal citizens. Not very presidential. Not very classy not not any of those things but he does it that's 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 the, the scranton and joe comes out as he would call it i have no problem with people from scranton i think it's a great town it gave us a great show in the office but i don't love joe but he got angry with the reporter for asking very fairly a question about his son hunter biden during uh, a Q&A session here and, and he got angry and we're going to see more of this tuesday but this was the scene rule two how was your role as vice president in, uh, in charge of policy in Ukraine, in your son's job in Ukraine, how is that not a conflict of interest? It's not a conflict of interest. There's been no indication of any conflict of interest from but Ukraine or anywhere else. Period. I'm not going to. I'm not going to respond to that. Let's focus on the problem. Focus on this man, what he's doing that no president has ever done. No president. Focus on this man. So he gets angry. And again, that's a fair question. And there is information on Hunter Biden. You just want to say that there's not, hoping that your followers and your minions will will believe it because you're you're lying outright. And that the mainstream media will protect you, which they will. They'll do it. They'll do that for you, Joe. I don't think they really believe in you, but they'll do it because they don't like Trump. But there's a new 87-page report that also, you know, there's tons of info on Ukraine, China. I mean, Hunter Biden's made a lot of money for doing nothing other than cocaine. He's really good at doing that. But he's made a lot of money for doing nothing. There's a new report that he received $3.5 million from Elena Baterina, richest woman in Russia. So there's, I just bring that up as an example. We've heard all the Ukraine stuff, the Burisma stuff. We've heard the China stuff. We've, we've now heard this. And there's plenty there. But the Democrats' tactic is always just lie and then throw something else out there to talk about, which is exactly what he does here. He gets mad. There's no, there's no information on that, which is a lie. Talk about this man, this man. Like, all you can do is blame Trump for stuff. All you can do is be, and I get it. It's a campaign season. It's election season. That's what people do is they throw mud. But like, You've got nothing. Like, at least people in the past had, like, some – like, Obama, as bad as a president as he was, lots of charisma, lots of energy, articulate. You know, you could see why people listened to him and bought whatever he said, hook, line, and sinker. You don't have that, Joe. You don't have that at all. So you lie, and then you distract. That's what you do. Lie and distract. It's the Democrat way. But then this was funny, too. I thought it was funny. You know, speaking of taking jabs at Trump, he was having a, a black summit of, of some variety. It's, it'll say it on the sign in the, in the background of where he is. But he's having this black summit. And then at, at the end, after he does a speech and he just, you know, works his way through it with his note cards and attacks Trump, he takes some Q&A. Uh, and he tried to take a jab at Trump here. Roll three. The president was in, uh, in, Iowa, in Ohio, uh, I guess a couple of days ago at a, at, at a rally. I don't want to misquote him. And he said at the rally, and I wrote this down, he said that, he said that we're in, we're, we're virtually turning a corner. Nobody is really dying. He said, you know, yeah, elderly people are dying. And they're dying because they have heart conditions other there. But go, go, virtually, they're virtually nobodies. They're the only ones dying. So you go home and your mom's gone. Your dad's gone. He's a virtual nobody? 
the idea the way we're talking about people. And this is all within our power to do something. The virus wasn't his fault. But the way he's handled it has been close to criminal. So, so we can he, you can listen to the rest of his talk if you feel so inclined. I don't think that you you probably will, but I so much here. I I love that he says <clears throat> I've got to look at this. I've got I've got notes. I had to write down what he said. Then he can't figure out one which way to hold his note card. Which way did he write it? And he never really read anything from there. So I don't I don't know what the hell was on that card. Certainly what he said and, and either read or tried to take off of his note card, whether it was upside down or horizontal, whatever, was not what President Trump said. He didn't call these people nobodies, which is what Joe just said. He didn't say that. The mainstream media lost their minds over his, his comment, the, Trump's comment the other day about this. Joe, <clears throat> they lost it for a different reason. They, they lost it because they're downplaying, that he says Trump is downplaying stats and deaths, which we'll get to in a second. But Joe is literally taking his comment and, and saying it the wrong way and saying Trump's calling these people who died nobodies, which he didn't say or infer. He couldn't read his card, whatever was on there. He, it was just another gaffe by him. So <laughs> Trump said it, it virtually affects nobody. He was talking about <clears throat> kids. He's talking about all the new data that comes out, or that came out, excuse me, and has, has shared the survivability rates or mortality rates, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but how the odds are really, really good. And certainly for, for children under 18, they're... <clears throat> It, the, the concern's almost non-existent. But even, <clears throat> excuse me, even for the older generation, as more and more data comes out, the odds are still really good. The odds are still really good, no matter which age demographic you are in. So he was saying that, and Trump in his, his delivery in a sarcastic way, his goal is to get things back open and get things moving and to stop this bogus push of fear and, and lies and manipulating the data that the mainstream media and the Democrats are doing, which is so evident that they are. Doesn't mean that it's not a disease, that's not real, doesn't mean any of that stuff. But he's trying to just say, look, odds are in your favor. Yes, it can happen. Yes, lots of people have died. One, two, one is too many. We've had 200,000. That's too many. But most of them, as we've seen from CDC, had other conditions that played into it. And it's not just a you caught COVID, you died from COVID. Mammoth Nation is the discount club for conservatives. You get great discounts on name brand products and services, and the proceeds help candidates who support the right causes. Plus, the money you save from just one purchase can pay for your entire membership. Liberal Democrats are destroying America, and we can't let Joe Biden be president. It's time to join the fight. Strength in numbers. We give the silent majority a resounding voice. Go to mammothnation.com and let's win this fight together.